Okay, so we will um, start with the bhajan. This is a very small uh, bhajan, okay? It's a very short bhajan. And this bhajan is on Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, okay? Who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? The glories of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu we will be learning in today's class, okay? So he is Lord Krishna himself. He is the incarnation of Krishna. Okay, uh, he is an avatar of Krishna, and uh, he came to this world to give us Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So we all do chanting, right? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So who gave us that mantra? It is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who gave us his, uh, this mantra. Okay, so we will be singing on him today. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Bhaja Gorango, Kahu Gorango, Lahu Gorango, Rona Gore. Bhaja Gorango, Kahu Gorango, Lahu Gorango, Rona Gore. So the translation, it's very simple, you know, the bhajan means bhajo gauranga, kaho gauranga. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is also called as gauranga, 
okay his other name is called gauranga okay so we are telling bhajo gauranga worship gauranga chant the name of gauranga okay all the time sing the glories of gauranga why because he is krishna himself okay he is the one who gave us hari krishna maha mantra if we are able to chant today it is all because of chaitanya mahaprabhu okay you can see here no uh, yellowish clothes he is chaitanya mahaprabhu okay so he is lord krishna's incarnation and he is balram's incarnation okay uh, he is nityananda prabhu so um, so let's offer our obeisances to chaitanya mahaprabhu every day and uh, he will give us devotion okay uh, if you want to become a devotee of krishna pray to uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, gauranga okay so, uh, hari krishna we will start with the class then so today all if you can see the screen can you see the screen and am i audible okay my voice is low today can you hear me is is this okay it's because of internet fluctuations sometimes voice goes low okay uh yeah today is day 3 and so chapter 3 okay i'll share the attendance link before i forget any doubts you can put it in the chat or you can ask me at the end of the class if anybody wants that in and like once again one of you take the initiative and uh, share it maybe after another 10 minutes and then after another 20 25 minutes okay so that anybody who is missed will get it okay so today is uh, day 3 okay so chapter 3 anybody knows chapter number uh uh 2 i mean uh, the title of chapter number 2 yeah tell me consultation of krishna mata ji what is the name of chapter 2 consultation of krishna mata ji contents of gita summarized okay yeah hari krishna so uh, contents of gita summarized is chapter number 2 uh, chapter number 3 is karma yoga okay so the Bhag- bhagavad gita we are studying is based on the teachings of his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhupada he is the founder acharya of iskon okay so um, yeah chapter 3 is uh, karma yoga okay so in uh, karma yoga uh, what are we going to learn we are going to learn so uh, here Arjuna has a question. Okay, so um, in the previous chapter, we saw that Krishna kept saying, "No, uh, you need to do devotional service because you are the soul. Food for the soul is Hari Krishna Maha Mantra, right? So we all have to feed the soul properly and uh, take care of the soul. And feeding the soul means doing devotional service, right? Doing bhakti uh, for God uh, uh, out of love for Krishna, right? And uh, so now Arjuna gets a question." so if we all have to do bhakti okay we if we all have to do devotion service then what should we should we leave our duties day to day duties okay that is what is our day to day duties studying going to school right uh, as teachers we go to school and teach right that is our day to day duty so should we stop teaching should we stop studying should we stop doing our day to day duties that is what krishna uh, arjuna is asking so renunciation renunciation means stop doing all this okay so should we stop doing all this or should we do it okay that is arjuna's question arjuna is confused obviously right so now uh, krishna answers by saying whatever you do do it as a sacrifice as in do it for me that is what krishna is saying whatever you do arjuna do it for me do it as a devotion service if you are doing it for the lord it becomes devotion service okay this is what we will be discussing in uh, today's chapter okay 
So this is our uh, Radha Govind deities. Let's play, play our obeisances. Okay, let's begin. Om Agnana Timiram Dasya Gnana Anjana Chalakaya Chakshuran Militam Yena Tasmaye Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamini Namaste Saraspati Devi Gauravani Pracharini Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschati Deshatarini Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasadi Gaurabhatta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Okay, so recap of last chapter We are not this body Okay, we are spirit souls, we are jivatmas. Okay, we are the soul. Whatever you're seeing is just material body. I am not the body that you're seeing, I am the soul inside my body, right? At the heart. Okay, I am situated in the heart of my body. The soul is always situated at the heart. And then we cannot see the soul because it is very, very small. Okay, it is one by 10,000th time. A uh, fraction of the hair tip of the hair. I mean, not uh, uh, hair tip of a human being. Okay, so hair tip you can see, you no know, tip of the hair you cannot even see. You know, it's so small, and one by ten thousandth part of this hair tip is is the soul's size. Okay, so it is so so small. No microscope can detect the soul. Okay. Now we also discussed the three stages of God realization, right? Anybody wants to answer who, what are the three stages of God realization? Who knows? Yes. Malika. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare the Krishna. first one, the first one is Bhag, Bhagwan. Brahman. No. Sorry? Brahman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next one is Paramatma. Huh. Bhagwan. Yeah. Very Thank good. Hare Krishna. And uh, what is Brahman? Anybody knows? Ma'am, Brahman is the light. Yes. And what is Paramatma? Paramatma is the Vishnu Rupa. Where is it? Heart. Yes. And then Bhagavan. Bhagavan is the real form of Krishna. Yes. Hare Bol. Thank okay. you. Yes, so, so that is the three stages of Bhagavan realization, okay? First is the Brahman, the spiritual effulgence coming out from the body of the Lord, Lord okay? So a lot of people, what they, what they think, only they see only the rays and they cannot even reach till God, okay? They cannot see the Lord. They only see the rays and they think, okay, light is only Krishna, okay? Then some people... They think, okay, there is a Vishnu in our hearts, Paramatma. Only Paramatma is the Lord, okay? Uh, the Vishnu form of the Lord. And then some people, uh, and only less people, you know, only devotees actually um, uh, reach till the Lord and they understand, okay, uh, Bhagavan has a form. He has, he has a nice Shamasundara form. Can you see? Mega Varnam Viseno. Uh, so this is the Shamasundara form, uh, bluish black. A rain cloud, monsoon clouds color, and then which are with a peacock feather, with a flute, with full gone ornaments, and uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, jewelry, flowers, and uh, orangish yellow clothes he wears. Okay, so this is Krishna. Okay, so this lot of people do not reach till here. Okay, so that's why devotees are considered special because they cross all the two stages and reach the highest stage that is Bhagavan stage. Okay, our aim should be Bhagavan realization. Always remember that. Okay. Um, yeah, now, now we will begin with the chapter. Okay, so now um, Arjuna is telling, okay, my intelligence is bewildered by your equivocal instructions. Therefore, please tell me decisively which will be most beneficial for me. So see, Arjuna is telling, in the previous chapter, uh, Krishna says, you should do devotional service. You are the soul. You are not the body. So, but we are in the body, right? We are in this material world. So we have to do our duties. Yes or no? So Arjuna is telling, now what should I do? You told me we need to do devotional service. Now, then what should we do? 
should we should we only do devotional service sit and chant hare krishna and stop everything else uh, if we stop everything else then how will we live if you want to eat the farmer has to grow crops right otherwise how will you get food if the farmer says okay no i will stop growing crops i will sit and chant hare krishna only okay now uh, uh, um, you know uh, how will you eat we will all die then correct and then if the teacher comes and says no i will stop teaching what will you all do will you all be able to go to school and study uh is my slides visible okay one moment i'll stop sharing the screen and start again you will see it okay now can you see can you see the slide okay so uh, arjuna is saying uh, uh, so if you go to if your teacher say no i will not uh, teach what will you all do will you be able to go to school and study no right so in the same way arjuna is now confused what should we do should we stop all our duties or should we do them okay now arjuna is asking you please guide me now so now the krishna i know krishna starts responding and krishna says um oh sinless arjuna i have already explained that there are two classes of men who realize the self okay some are inclined to understand him by em empirical philosophical speculation and others are inclined to know him by devotional work okay so now krishna is telling there are two people two classes of people two uh, uh, you know uh, types of people first type of people uh, do go through gnana yoga to the lord okay that is uh, through knowledge they learn a lot of shastras and scriptures they learn they read okay they understand and then they understand okay there is something called atma soul in our body that is called the self okay then they understand that okay we are not the body we are the soul and all that they go through understanding the scriptures that is through gnana okay the other class of men that is the second type of people they go to krishna or they understand that they are not the body but the soul by doing devotional work karma yoga okay what is devotional work whatever you are doing karma what is karma anybody okay yeah yeah what is karma ayush what are the activities which we do yeah any activity you do is karma okay hari krishna so some people go to krishna through karma yoga any activity you do okay you dance you sing you work you study okay you go to office and do something or you cook you eat eating also can be done through krishna conscious uh, i mean uh, uh, how 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 do you how do you even transform eating into devotional service by eating prasad okay how do you how do you convert cooking into devotional service by cooking for the lord okay i'm doing naivedyam for the lord that is why i'm cooking i'm i'm offering food to the lord that is why i'm cooking okay so anything that you do uh, through if you do it for the lord it becomes devotional work okay remember this very important two types of people one type of people they go to krishna or uh, they they realize uh, their self by reading reading scriptures and knowledge okay by taking lot of knowledge into their minds second class of people go through karma yoga okay that is through doing work for krishna any type of activity whatever they do they do it for krishna okay this this is the meaning understand this okay very important now one who restrains the senses of action but whose mind dwells on sense objects certainly deludes himself and is called pretender see this swami ji you know what is he doing he is smoking he is he is calling himself a swami ji okay with all his appearance okay with the uh, kamandalu and all that but what is he doing he is smoking right so that is wrong uh, you should not sm uh, smoke and all that okay that is very very wrong so he is a pretender he is only pretending to be a swami ji but he is not okay so sanyasi is the real sanyasi will not pretend okay who is a real sanyasi a sanyasi is someone who does anything and everything for the lord if you are doing anything for the lord you will also become a sanyasi that means you become a devotee of the lord okay now for example 
I already told you, right? Your mom is cooking. Example: Your mom cooks at home, right? So if she is cooking to offer whatever she is cooked, okay, that food to the Lord and then eat, then cooking also becomes devotional service, okay? Along with chanting, along with reading Bhagavad Gita, whatever you do, that also becomes devotional service if you do it for the Lord. That means whatever you do, the result you should leave it to the Lord, okay? When you're going to school and studying, tell I'm studying for you. Whatever marks I get, I'm leaving it to your feet. Oh, Krishna, you tell. Okay, that time studying becomes devotional service. You cannot say, I, okay, I didn't, uh, um, I'm, I'm not doing devotional service today. You are studying, right? You're going to school and studying. If you're do, if you tell Krishna that I'm doing it for you, then that becomes devotional service. Okay, if you're singing. Don't sing film songs and all that. Learn so many bhajans. We we already did three bhajans, right? Uh, for, including today's. So learn bhajans, learn Krishna songs, learn any God songs. Okay. So all that becomes devotional service. So singing also becomes devotional service that way. Okay. If you wanna dance, dance for a kirtan, dance for a bhajan, play the bhajan. You you see a lot of videos. Okay. Uh, Iskon videos uh, for kirtan. Uh, uh, you just type on YouTube Iskon kirtans. Okay. When there were, whenever there is a live kirtan, mic setup and all that, people dance like, I mean, like crazy because of the kirtan. Okay, there is kirtan going on, people singing the kirtan, and on the other side, people dance. Okay, so dance for a kirtan, so that way dancing also becomes devotion service. Okay, if you want, if you are good at writing short stories, write about Krishna. So many leelas are there, no? Uh, the way he was born, he was born in a jail, right? Then he was transferred to Vrindavan. Then he killed Putana. He killed he killed so many uh, Rakshasas and all that. You can write short stories on Krishna. Okay, if you wanna draw, you're good at drawing. Draw Krishna. Okay, draw Krishna. What better can you draw? Right. So everything becomes devotion service. Whatever you do becomes devotion service if you do it for Krishna. Okay, in your mind you should think. Okay, I'm doing it for Krishna. Tell Krishna that I'm doing it for you. Then it becomes devotion service. Okay. See, because why why this uh, karma yoga is easy because you cannot sit and meditate like this. It's very difficult. You have to go to the forest. Okay, you should leave your parents, uh, right? Uh, uh, all your friends and all. You should leave. You should go to forest, uh, spread this uh, deer skin and all. Sit and then start meditating. When you meditate, you know what happens? You will get so many thoughts in your mind. You will get food ka thoughts. You will get money and all that thoughts, and you will get your friends, family members, and all in your head. So many thoughts you will get. You will not be able to focus, okay? Because this is kali yoga, okay? It's very difficult uh, to focus. That's why uh, we should always uh, uh, do whatever we are doing for the Lord. That way, you will not lose your focus. How can you lose your focus if you are, uh, say, eating prasadam? If you are eating, eating is also devotional service. If you are eating prasadam of the Lord. Okay, so uh, so whatever you like, you are doing right. So no no chance that you will be losing focus. So always do whatever you are doing for the Lord. That is called karma yoga. Okay, tell Krishna whatever I am doing, uh, I am doing it for you. Whatever I am getting out of what I do is I am giving it to you. I don't want anything. So the marks that you get, the scores that you get, exam scores, give it to the Lord. Say I am giving all my scores to you. Okay, help me study because I'm studying for you to make you happy. So that time everybody will score high marks. Why? Because you're doing it for Krishna. Krishna will definitely help you, right? Krishna will say you're doing it for me. Definitely, I will give you high marks. Okay, so that way you can become topper of the school as well. But do it genuinely from your heart, from the bottom of your heart. Tell Krishna, I'm doing it for you. Okay, that's all. That is karma yoga. That is very simple. It's called as nishkama karma yoga. Okay, yeah. So, work done as a sacrifice for Vishnu. So, sacrifice, that means giving it off to the Lord, right? What we, whatever we discussed. So, work done as a sacrifice for Vishnu has to be performed. Otherwise, work causes bondage in this material world. Therefore, O son of Kunti, perform your prescribed duties for his satisfaction. And in that way, you will always remain free from bondage. I already told you. When you're studying, don't say I'm studying because I should score. I should learn. That I factor should go away. I, me, myself, all that, forget it. Okay? Tell I'm studying for you. I'm studying to satisfy you. See? His satisfaction. I'm studying to satisfy Krishna. 
okay that is important i'm the marks that i'm getting i'm giving it off to you sacrifice i'm giving it off to you krishna okay that way what happens you will not get uh, you know uh, bondage karmic reaction see every karma has a reaction okay uh, we will see that one moment uh yeah let me help you understand that where is that yeah so every karma okay every action that you do has an equal and opposite reaction whatever you do has an equal and opposite uh, reaction okay so if you do something good good activity good karma you will get good reaction you will get lot of punya right uh, and then if you do uh, something bad bad activity papa you will get papa reaction right whatever you do will have a reaction see you can see in this picture right it's like a seesaw you do something here if you if you put weight over here this will obviously go on top right so in the same way whatever you do it's like a swing if you push the swing the swing will come back towards you right you have to face if you do something wrong in school you will get punishment you can escape once twice but you will definitely get punishment some day right for all the bad things that you've done so if you do something bad you will get bad things if you do something good you will get uh, good uh, good reactions so if you do something good you will get punya if you get if you do something bad you will get papa right so that bondage will not be there you don't have to face punishments if you're doing wrong you don't have to you know uh, even face uh, uh, punya if you are uh, doing something good if you are doing it for the lord that is the magic god has given you so use it okay so krishna says do whatever you doing for me so that you will be free from all the bondage that bondage that is the uh, you know, bondage means to face the reaction that reaction you don't have to face if you're doing um anything in krishna conscious uh, uh mood okay now these are the yugas okay what are the four yugas anybody knows uh somebody whose name okay yeah hari krishna hari krishna vata ji hari krishna satya yuga yeah kali yuga hari yuga satya yuga dwapara yuga dwapara yuga and teta yuga teta yuga yes hari krishna okay very good uh, so it starts from satya yuga okay satya yuga is the starting yuga the first yuga and uh, you can see uh it is like around 17 lakhs 28000 years okay the span of the yuga the yuga was for 17 lakhs 28000 years okay and um, there was uh, you know the good and bad was in two different uh, planets so uh, uh, earth planet had all good things and uh, uh, all rakshasa lokas we call asura lokas they had bad things okay all rakshasas were on one planet gods were on one planet humans were on one planet okay that was how satya yuga was okay uh, so uh, and it was the longest yuga after that second yuga was treta yuga okay so in treta yuga uh, good and bad was in different countries you can see no uh, in india it was uh, where ayodhya and all was there it was all good and then uh, ravana was in lanka right lanka was in a different country so all bad things rakshasas were in uh, lanka right so good and bad was in different countries and uh, uh, next comes dwapar yuga dwapar yuga is where uh, krishna came okay so in dwapar yuga good and bad was in same family but different people okay like kauravas and pandavas pandavas were good kauravas were bad right but in kali yuga good and bad is in the same person you sometimes get good thoughts you sometimes get bad thoughts right see you can see over here devilish angelish so uh, both uh, angel and devil is in the same person okay so, so that's why sometimes we do good things sometimes we do bad things okay and kali yuga is the shortest yuga okay it is the shortest yuga it is just around 4 lakhs 33 32000 years ashte okay so in uh, satya yuga it was 17 uh, you know lakhs years and uh, kali yuga is just 4 lakh uh, 32000 years so it is shortest yuga that's why all life spans of us is also short 
in ka satya yuga people used to stay for like 10000 years or something okay in treta yuga 1000 years uh, sorry um, uh, satya yuga people used to live for 1 uh, lakh years okay treta yuga 10 lakh years and dwapar yuga 1000 years kali yuga 100 years right uh, kali yuga life span is just 100 years and we don't even live completely 100 years people die for uh, die in like 70 years 80 years only people die uh, right the, because it is the shortest yuga and uh, you can see over here uh, brahma's life okay brahma lives for can you even count this 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 many years okay so many years brahma lives <laughs> okay and then uh, one kalpa okay one day of brahma that is like how we have 24 hours in kali yuga here uh, brahma has so many years as one day 4 lakh 30, i mean uh, for yeah 4 lakh 32 okay you cannot even count this this many years as one kalpa okay uh, as one day and that uh, one uh, uh, such um, uh, Manvantara is 72 yugas. Like we have no Satya Yuga, Treta Yuga, Dwapar Yuga, Kali Yuga. Four yugas. It's called Chatur Yugas because it is four yugas. Like that four yuga cycle, after 72 such cycles, uh, it is called as uh, one Manvantara. Okay? And um, this, and uh, yeah, you, you just have to remember that Kali Yuga la lasts for 4 lakh 32 years. Uh, 32,000 years and one day of Brahma is called as one Kalpa. Okay. Uh, you can remember, I'll send you the screenshot of this. Okay. It's very difficult uh, to understand it this way. Uh, you can uh, just, uh, I will send you the screenshot of this. You can understand. Okay. You can read through. These numbers are like too high. Okay. Lakhs together, crores and millions. Okay. And uh, yeah. So can you see the picture here? Can anybody tell me what is happening in each of the yugas? You can raise your hand. Yeah, Ritwik. Yeah, Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna. Ma'am, Mataji in the Satya Yuga, people yeah. were more like uh, giving more interest on uh, Lord, so they were performing. Yeah. More yeah. rituals in the Tetra Yuga, they perform sacrifices. Hmm. And last in the Kali Yuga, we only chant the Lord's name. Yeah. And what is happening in the picture? Do you know? Okay. Durga Prasad, do you know what's happening in the picture? Hare Krishna. Mm. Hare Krishna, do you know? Okay. Maulika, tell me. Hare Krishna, Mataji. In the Satyoga, they're just pulling uh, Lord Lakshmi. Lord is Lakshmi. No. Chilukthana. Uh, Means the gods and the asuras are making plans for for hand, for nectar. The gods and asuras are just. Mataji, uh, Mataji, in middle is bird, bird, and uh, uh, in one side, uh, um, human beings are pulling the. Uh, uh, mm. Snake mom and uh, another side, they are pulling the uh, snake mom. Yes, yes, Hare Krishna. So I got the answer in the chat. Okay, so it is uh, Samudra Manthan. Okay, so that is going on. What is happening is they're churning the mountain. It's called Mandara Mountain. Okay, uh, so one side it is all demons and one side it is all devatas. Okay, so demigods on one side, they, uh, Rakshasas on one side, they are churning the mountain for nectar in the ocean there is nectar so if they churn uh, uh, if they churn the ocean they will get nectar uh, so that they can all live long okay they can fight diseases and all that now uh, to churn uh, obviously they need uh, some some hold holder or something not a rope or something so
so for that they used a vasuki snake okay now what is happening they were churning 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 and poison came out instead of nectar poison came out okay now what happened uh, so uh, that's i mean uh, and also the the mandara hill that they used to churn actually floated okay uh, uh, i mean it was sinking in it had if if they had to churn using the hill the hill has to float right but it was sinking okay there was no support for the uh, mountain so that is why lord krishna came as kurma kurma avatar and then on the shell of kurma the mountain was placed and then um, uh, the churning happened okay that time what happened the poison came out after that you know lord shiv came and drank the poison and then um, uh, actually nectar came out amruta came out okay and uh, the, uh, so this was the case in uh, satya yuga okay now uh, what is happening in uh, 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 treta yuga you can all see no the um, bridge ramayan happened right they were building the bridge and then go, going to uh, lanka to get the sita yeah, sita was kidnapped right and uh, in dwapar yuga you can see this uh, mahabharat happened krishna came right uh, so the um, and in treta yuga what happened so in uh, i mean uh, in kali yuga see what i'm trying to say is in every yuga the lord came in some or the other form right so in um, satya yuga lord came, came in kurma form uh, in uh, uh, treta yuga lord came in rama form dwapar yuga krishna came himself and but in kali yuga who came anybody knows who came in kali yuga i want new people to answer and ha, raise your hands only if you know the answer okay anushka tell me um yes ma'am you said that um uh, you know in the before the session started after the bhajan you said that a person um yeah. came in the form of krishna's yeah uh, oh, but i don't actually remember his name completely yeah okay hari bol very good attempt uh, so yeah uh, like anushka told in kali yuga who came krishna himself came in the form of lord chaitanya so he is called chaitanya mahaprabhu okay his name is chaitanya okay and he came uh, he is krishna over here he is balram's incarnation nityananda prabhu so when krishna comes he will definitely come with his uh, close associates close friends right so when krishna came in dwapar yuga balram also came as brother uh, in kali yuga when krishna came as chaitanya balram came as nityananda okay so uh, these people came nityananda and uh, chaitanya uh, mahaprabhu they came and they gave us harinam okay so in every yuga lord will come down to help us okay because uh, lord wants all of us to go back home go back to godhead i already told yesterday right our home is not this this is not our house okay our home is goloka vrindavana where krishna stays okay so god comes down and invites us see uh, in uh, in kali yuga who came uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu came and he is inviting us he, he how how is he inviting us by giving us hari naam he gave us hari krishna maha mantra he told chant you can go back to godhead right you can go back home so this is the invitation card that he gave in dwapar yuga he gave the invitation card in the form of bhagavad gita right so we need to make use of all that okay so we need to chant so that we can go back to krishna as fast as possible krishna is not ready to live without us that's why he's coming down again and again again and again and calling us back in every yuga he is coming right so uh, krishna is not ready to live without us How, we are also not happy over here right so we need to go back to our house only then we will be happy because krishna is our father he is waiting for us our parents are waiting for us right and uh, yeah so chaitanya mahaprabhu is krishna himself who came down 500 years ago okay uh, in kali yuga to spread maha mantra hare krishna maha mantra he is the one who gave us hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare i already told you nitananda nityananda prabhu is balram's incarnation he also came down along with that uh, four others are there okay advaita advaita prabhu gadadhara prabhu and shrivasa prabhu okay uh, so advaita uh, so we will see all this uh, here yeah so this this is why we chant the panchatatva mantra okay so this is lord chaitanya that is krishna this is lord balram i mean nityananda prabhu in the form of lord uh, um, balram and this is advaita prabhu advaita prabhu is vishnu and uh, you know um, shiva 
uh, half and half okay 50% vishnu 50% shiva incarnation hari hara we say okay that is advaita prabhu and then this is gadhadhar prabhu okay gadhadhar is radha rani radha krishna we, we have radha dt no so she came as uh, gadhadhar prabhu and this is shri vasad okay shri vas uh, he is narada muni narada muni's incarnation okay so all of them came in these uh, forms to give us hari naam so they formed a group it's like a group of five people that's why we chant panchatatva mantra whenever we chant uh, which uh, we start chanting hare krishna maha mantra why only because we need to offer our obeisances to these people because they are the one who gave us the mantra if they were not there we wouldn't have been able to chant and all our mistakes will go if we chant uh, the panchatatva mantra the meaning of panchatatva mantra is very simple i offer my respectful obeisances unto all these people okay chaitanya mahaprabhu nityananda advaita gadadhar shrivas and all the devotees of lord chaitanya okay yeah and uh, yeah so why should i chant panchatatva mantra yesterday also we discussed the mistakes we make while chanting the mantra maha mantra why you, you we chant and then we think of so many things no we think of okay what what should i eat for breakfast what should i eat for uh, dinner what color clothes should i wear today all such thoughts will come to our mind when we chant okay it's actually not advice you should not think of anything when chanting because it's like meditation you should you should only concentrate on chanting when you chant you should chant the mantra and hear the mantra but obviously we get lot of thoughts in our mind so all that mistakes we will be forgiven if we chant panchatatva mantra if we don't chant panchatatva mantra then we'll have to get, face punishments for all the mistakes we do while chanting okay that's why this is like shortcut <laughs> okay you don't have to face any punishment just chant panchatatva mantra jay shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri advaita gadadhar shri vasadi gaur bhakta vrinda and then start chanting uh, the hari krishna maha mantra no punishments okay krishna will take whatever you do krishna will forgive okay and chanting will become success mm, uh, going forward if you don't chant pa- panchatatva mantra then it becomes very difficult okay and uh, what is the meaning of hari krishna maha mantra anybody knows uh, i want new p- oh, yeah ishan tell me ma'am ma'am i did not ma'am i by mistake raised my hand i don't know Ah, uh, lower your hands. Ah, uh, Sahi, do you know? You can put your answers in chat also. Okay, nobody knows. Okay, Ayush, tell me. Ma'am, I think Hare means praise, praising Lord Krishna and Rama. Okay. Ah, uh, hmm. so technically uh, the meaning is um, hari represents the greatest devotee of the lord the greatest devotee of the lord is radha rani okay that's why radha is always next to krishna any iskon temple you go there is radha next to krishna right so radha is the highest devotee of the lord hari represents radha rani and we are asking radha rani to give us devotional service so that we can go back to krishna okay so this is the meaning and rama the, do you know what is the meaning of the name ram it is pleasure happiness okay the every time we say ram we get lo- a lot of happiness because ram lord ram gives happiness and krishna is attractive okay so you attract it, it, it you get attracted to the lord when you say krishna okay so that's why uh, hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare means uh, asking radha rani to give more and more devotional service to you, to you so that you can serve the lord okay more and more and then with more and more devotional service what happens you can go back to krishna you can go back to godhead you can go back home okay so this is a very nice uh, story this brings out the importance of hari naam okay so what's happening here everybody is building the bridge right to go to lanka and uh, all the banners and all that uh, so hanuman and Han- what is hanuman i mean all the banner um, uh, you know what they are doing they take every stone and uh, they um uh, uh, anybody is unmuted can you mute yeah okay so what hap- what's happening they take every stone and they write ram's name on it right 
if you take normal stone without the name and uh, put it in the ocean it is sinking okay they saw that the stones were sinking only after they wrote lord ram's name on the stone all the stones started floating on the ocean okay so that is the power of the hari naam okay the lord's name the name of the lord holy name of the lord is more powerful than the lord himself ram was right there but still the stones uh, sank in water right when they put the stones in water only after they wrote lord ram's name on the stone they started floating right so the what is giving the stone the power or the ability to float it is hari naam the name of the lord right the holy name of the lord right so lord's name is more powerful than the lord himself even if krishna is coming and sitting next to you uh, if you say krishna the name of the lord has more power than krishna himself sitting next to you always remember that that is the reason we have to chant the holy name of the lord we all go to the temple and you know uh, do uh, uh, you know uh, pray uh, uh, we do abhishekam we decorate the lord and we do all that but when you chant the name of the lord it is more powerful okay you will get more uh, um, uh, punya if you do uh, so that you will become dear to krishna and go back to krishna okay uh, we saw no in those pictures in uh, treta uh, sorry in uh, satya yuga people used to go to the forest and meditate upon uh, the lord right and then in treta yuga people used to do fire sacrifices and then in uh, dwapar yuga people started doing deity worship in temples and all that but in kali yuga it is so easy what should you do you should only chant that is the reason chaitanya mahaprabhu came that is krishna only came to give us hare krishna maha mantra so that we all can chant and go back to godhead why krishna knows that in kali yuga you cannot do so much of deity worship going to the temple every day who who has the time right it, we are so busy in our lives right so so just chant you don't even have to get up from your bed right on the bed you can chant why because lord's name is more powerful than the lord himself okay krishna himself uh, 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 you know is less powerful when compared to his name krishna okay so and that's why krishna Uh, and krishna's form krishna's power everything is there in the name krishna that's why we always have to chant the holy name of the lord okay so by chanting uh, you can control your mind you will not get dirty thoughts in your mind okay uh, okay i will lie today i will not study today all such dirty thoughts negative thoughts bad thoughts you will not get in your mind if you chant properly okay regularly every day in the morning okay if not in the morning evening any time any time okay and um, you will not have fear you will not have stress you will not have anxiety if you chant okay and maha mantra uh, okay so the the name of the lord is the spiritual sound right it, it, so it helps us understand our soul uh, it it helps us realize our soul now we all know that we are not the body we are the soul but are we able to realize our soul are we able to see our soul or meet our soul understand our soul that you can understand if you chant properly okay and uh, so i already told you you bathe your body to make it clean right so in the same way uh, you can purify you you can clean you can make your soul clean by chanting it is the food for soul right you if you want to take care of your soul you will always have to chant hari krishna only then um, uh, you can purify yourself and go back to krishna okay so yeah uh, this is all scientific references that i took okay so when you Uh, uh that is been taken okay so when you chant uh, what happens your uh, see you can see over here uh, the brain before meditation brain after meditation all the gray matter in the brain goes away okay and your brain also gets a proper shape and you know like um, uh, brain gets purified okay uh, uh, and the thinking capability of the brain increases after meditation but meditating is so difficult can you meditate so many thoughts come in your mind when you meditate but if you chant if you chant panchatatva mantra and start chanting hari krishna maha mantra just one round okay one round is 108 times you, that is equivalent to meditation okay so uh, you will get lot of benefit you will understand it is improving your concentration ability you will be able to study better if you go to school you will be able to understand your lessons better okay uh, it become you become more healthy okay so many benefits all problems one solution chanting okay so and it is so easy what what do you even have to do i mean it is so easy uh, you don't even have to get up from your place you are sleeping if you are lying down 
take your japa mala start chanting make sure you don't fall asleep and if you're sitting chant if you're traveling in bus you can chant you can walk if you're walking somewhere you can chant okay anywhere and everywhere you can chant uh, okay no uh, you can all, bring all your friends together make them chant prabhupa did used to do that right he used to uh, conduct ratha yatra he used to do kirtan and all that we all play with remote cars babi doll he used to have uh, radha krishna deities right we all discuss this on uh, orientation day so if he can do it we can also do it right because we are following his footsteps so always chant okay see this is how i i was telling you know about the uh, kirtan so this is how sankirtan happens in iskon people chant with all instruments and all that and then back people dance i mean people dance out of glory out of love for hari krishna mahamantra so uh, that's how it is okay and then chaitanya mahaprabhu told hari nama hari nama hari nama eva kevalam kalau nasti eva nasti eva nasti eva ghatir anyatha that is there is no other way in kali yuga to go back to krishna it is only through chanting the holy name of the lord that we can go back to krishna okay see he, here it is saying there is no alternative there is no alternative there is no alternative holy name of the lord is the only shelter it is the only rescue we have okay to go back to godhead okay in kali yuga so in fact in a way we are all lucky to being born in kali yuga because kali yuga is so easy god has made it so easy you know just chant chant go back to godhead chant go back to godhead you don't even have to do anything right um if you don't have japa mala i already gave you the japa counter app you know on the whatsapp group download that start chanting okay so simple otherwise you can chant using your fingers also see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 
when does he pour down as rain only when krishna asks him to okay so demigods all follow krishna's instructions rain will fall down okay or we will get rain only when krishna blesses okay so how so first of all we have to make the lord happy okay or we should make varuna dev happy we should make the demigods happy how by doing sacrifice that is the reason we should do fire sacrifices prayers and all that when we uh, pray to uh, the god rain god varuna dev then he will give us rains and then you will get crops after that whatever harvest whatever food crops we get we should again give it to the lord because he is the one who has given us rains right and because of that only crops have grown so you should again out of gratitude you should give it to the lord then you will get again next time rain otherwise no rain no food okay so that's why whatever you get you should show gratitude and give it back to the lord this is what we discussed the evaporation and then it falls down forms clouds and then it falls down as rain right so whatever you get again give it to the lord this is what is karma yoga what karma yoga means whatever you are getting no the result result of agriculture is crops uh, the food grains right so you should give it to the lord first offer it to the lord keep it in front of him and then you eat it if you are getting anything new at home also you should first give it to the lord keep it in front of his photo or something and then you uh, start using it okay even new clothes say you are buying some new clothes uh, first go keep the clothes in front of the lord put tulsi on it say uh, i am giving it to you this is a sacrifice to you and then say i i'll use it for your devotion service and then you wear that uh, whenever you wear new clothes chant hare krishna do kirtan for 2 minutes 5 minutes okay and then do uh, other things okay so that time what happens you are using your new clothes also for devotion service okay that time you will not get karma otherwise you will get karma bondage okay so yeah so coming back to the first thing that we spoke no uh, should teachers stop teaching you if all teachers stop teaching you and say okay we will do only devotion service uh, then if teachers go on strike uh, what will happen to us we will not be able to go to school and learn right nobody will teach us that's why we should not stop what we are doing it is karma yoga but we should do it for the lord so teachers should teach but teacher teachers how do you teach they should tell in their mind okay i'm teaching it for krishna i'm i'm doing it for krishna that is how we should do that is called nishkama karma yoga what is nishkama karma yoga i will ask you tomorrow you all have to understand okay any doubts all of you understood what is nishkama karma yoga put it in the chat if you understood say yes if you not understood say no i will repeat okay so nishkama karma yoga means whatever you are doing whatever activity karma that you are doing do it for the lord okay like i told you know uh, if you are studying say the marks that i get out of studying i'm giving it to you lord okay so and then after you get all the marks you go tell krishna okay i've got so much marks in so many subjects i'm giving it to you it is all for you it is all for devotional service okay that time what happens it becomes nishkama karma yoga okay nishkama karma yoga is so simple whatever you're doing doing it for the lord is called nishkama karma yoga okay uh understood any doubts yes or no if you have any doubts tell me no no doubts okay yad yad acharyati shreshthas tat tad evataraajanaha sayat pramanam kurute lokas tad anuvartate okay so whatever action you perform okay i, I mean uh, whatever an action a great man performs everybody else follow that great person right and whatever standards he set by exemplary acts all the world pursues so that's why chaitanya mahaprabhu is called the leader today okay and i showed no the panchatatvas in that chaitanya mahaprabhu was leading the group okay why why is he the leader see over here krishna is saying whatever action a leader performs everybody else follow them follow him right and what did chaitanya mahaprabhu do he 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 told everybody to chant right and he gave krishna bhakti to everybody krishna's devotional service to everybody by giving the hari naam right so today everybody is chanting i mean 
uh, if you see so many people are chanting hare krishna mahamantra today and uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu is leading the movement right he he once came in came down as leader and we are all following him right so uh, uh, when you follow a leader always make sure what he is doing is he doing the right thing otherwise you should not follow okay uh, so a leader should always do the right thing otherwise uh, we all will start doing the wrong thing following the leader that is wrong okay so there is no one greater than krishna there is no one uh, there is no better leader than krishna okay it is proved chaitanya mahaprabhu himself came down as krishna so there is nobody supreme to krishna okay he is the supreme whatever is happening today it's because of krishna right without krishna nobody can do anything literally anything okay so that's why we should always offer our obeisances to him and whatever is happening no in the material world the karma if you do something you will get equal and opposite reaction if you do an action you will get equal and opposite reaction right and that is controlled by the three modes of material nature which we will be doing in uh, further chapters okay there is goodness mode of goodness mode of passion mode of ignorance these are the three modes of material nature you might have a quiz question i'm not sure this three modes of material nature is the one that controls the karma that we are doing okay uh, the karma and the karma reactions whatever we are doing we are doing uh, is controlled by the three modes of material uh, nature okay so here uh, we we we've seen this the chariot of the body uh, yeah so here the sense organs okay it's compared to a chariot okay the horse is compared to the sense organs the five sense organs that we have eyes nose tongue ears and skin and the reins uh, uh, to control the horse is called the mind okay that means mind is the one that is controlling the sense organs okay and who is controlling the mind the charioteer charioteer is the one who rides right so he is controlling the mind and the charioteer is intelligence so intelligence is the one that controls the mind and the chariot is the body okay and the person sitting inside the chariot is the owner of the body that is the soul so we are all in the body right so in the same way the soul is inside the chariot so the um, so uh, the owner is inside the chariot that means the soul is inside the chariot and intelligence is the one that controls the mind and mind is the one that controls the senses okay simple it is very simple horse is the sense organs just to make you understand and the reins are the mind you just remember this diagram you will understand the entire philosophy okay so mind is the one that controls the senses intelli intelligence controls the mind and uh, the the chariot is the body and whoever is sitting inside the chariot the passenger is the soul okay <clears throat> that's why you have to control your mind only then your sense organs will be controlled okay through your intelligence so you have to think good your mind keeps thinking right so it's through your intelligence that you have to tell your mind okay you think uh, when you're getting some wrong bad thought in your mind immediately you should tell your mind no no i have to change my thought i should stop thinking this is wrong okay that is called intelligence so you, you when do you get when will you be able to do all this if you chant regularly okay if you don't chant then it becomes a problem so with your in, you should decide okay whatever you're doing you should think in your mind you should ask yourself okay is this called devotional service or am i doing it for myself see the difference is between work and devotion and work for fruitive results fruitive results means okay i want something that's why i'm doing it devotional service means i don't want anything i'm doing it for krishna okay so always you should ask yourself before you do something am i doing it for krishna or am i doing it for myself okay if you're doing it for yourself you should not do it okay you should convert it into krishna conscious activity like i told you when you're studying you have to study no other there, there is there it's compulsory you have to study right but study for krishna tell krishna i'm studying for you and then study it becomes devotional service if you tell no i want to i want to score i want to top the class that's why i'm studying that is wrong okay do it for krishna tell krishna i want to top the class to satisfy you to make you happy that's why i want to top the class that becomes devotional service okay so whatever you do do it for the lord uh yeah all this is the same thing that i explained um yeah so this is the formula uh simple formula just now whatever i told any work any activity that you're doing 
if you're doing it for krishna if krishna is there in it then it becomes devotional service you will not get any karma you will get liberated from karmic reaction and you will get moksha you can go back to krishna but if you do it for yourself anything minus krishna without krishna in it then you will get karma bondage it is a bondage because you have to face the reaction of karma okay always remember this take this as the formula okay very important uh, whatever you do do it for krishna if you are eating say krishna i'm i'm considering this as the prasad and eating eat prasadam okay so eating also becomes krishna conscious activity you don't have to eat all the three meals as prasadam if there if it is not possible at home i told you know offer water water to everybody has fruit one fruit you can definitely offer keep tulsi on it give it to the lord then eat so eating also becomes devotional service okay new clothes new uh, new earrings anything first give it to krishna tell i'm i'm doing it as a sacrifice to you uh, i'm doing it as a devotional service to you give it to krishna put tulsi on your earrings keep it in front of the lord in puja room or something and then after 10 minutes go take it then use it that becomes devotional service whatever you're doing do it for the lord okay so see anything you do plus krishna devotional service okay uh, if you do if you do it without krishna then it is karma bondage simple easy yes or no put it in the chat okay so this uh yeah so this i already uh, uh, we discussed right when you do something good you get punya if you do something bad you get papa you should face right if you do something bad now you should go to hell you should take all the punishments if but if you are doing it whatever you are doing if you are doing it for krishna krishna will take your reactions you don't even have to face any punishment that is what i'm t- telling you okay so it is krishna is making us making things easy for us okay so we should follow all that and um, yeah so this uh, that's why krishna ultimately says you should do your duty see as a brahmana brahmana's duty is to teach vedas right uh, so as a kshatriya's duty he has to fight his enemies right and um, uh, as a vaishya vaishya means merchant or businessman he has to do business right he, he cannot say no i will not do business i will simply sit okay and as a shudra he has to do is a labor caste right he has to serve uh, uh, do his job so everybody has to do their job there is no freedom from that that is what krishna is telling you have to do your duty but do it for the lord that is the only only request that krishna is making okay krishna is asking us to do it for him so let's do it for him what are we going to lose are we going to lose anything he will not say okay i will take away all your marks <laughs> no right uh, so he will in, in fact increase your marks increase your scores and help you become the topper because krishna is there as a father father will never say okay give me all your property i will take it and go okay so krishna is always helpful so um, yeah uh, so this a uh, theory uh, this is also very important like i already told the sense organs are controlled by the mind so mind is higher to senses and intelligence is controlled by i mean intelligence controls the mind so intelligence is higher to the mind and soul is the passenger it's even more higher soul is the highest in fact and then comes paramatma paramatma is the lord himself so he is the greatest okay so this uh, this is very simple uh, nothing more to explain okay this is one example how to use uh, any activity or uh, how to dedicate your activities to krishna okay if you are a writer say you have fascination towards writing some short stories or poems or anything as such do it on krishna see prabhupad wrote poems right so he this is one one poem that he wrote okay whatever he wrote he wrote it on krishna only he wrote so many books everything was on krishna bhakti he wrote so many poems everything were on krishna okay so you can also try out experiment okay you you might write something uh, short stories you can imagine something okay uh, and write instead of that imagine krishna and write whatever comes to your mind when you imagine krishna write that okay so that way you can use your skills also to krishna if you are a singer sing krishna bhajan if you are a dancer dance for kirtan if you are a writer write on krishna okay so uh, this is just an example you can also try out okay um, and uh, yeah Uh, we come to the end of the session hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare 
okay uh, get your japa malas we'll start chanting and then we will uh, start with the question answer session okay